But it's like, yo, if your friend smells like P-U-S-S-Y, dude, that's not okay. If they smell like pussy, bro, that's not okay. There is no reason why anybody should be smelling like that or have that smell on them. Like, yo, I know not everybody is going to smell like flowers and stuff like that. But there's no way it should be smelling like that that I can smell it from the outside. What's poppin' it's your girl Johnny Star, but you can call me Johnny and I'm back today with another video. As you can tell by the title, today's a hygiene video, but it's like tips. I'm gonna give you guys tips. <laughs> Especially the ladies. Well, this is really for the ladies, you know. People that have, you know, the vagina part. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you are new to my channel, what's poppin'? And if you are not new and you are just, you know, seeing another video of mine, welcome back. No. Um, and you guys, give me ideas to, like, what type of videos to do. Like, well, Give me like all different types of videos to do and I'm willing to do them. You can get, you guys can DM me, you guys can comment, you guys can do whatever you want. The string is like, whoa. Okay. Anyways, so let's just start off with this video. Um, let's see how to do this. Okay, so let's just start off with this video. Wait, before we do though. Okay. Hey, you guys can ask for like a... I mean, a lot of you guys ask for like skincare routine and stuff like that. So I might do one of those, or you know, hair tutorial. You know how to grow, you know, the long hair. You dig, you dig, you dig, you dig. It's like nah. Anyways, um, I feel like I don't know my hair. Ugh. And let's start this video. So first off, let's start by saying um. So for down there, like when you take a shower, you want to use like warm water. So use warm water, don't use cold water or like really, really hot water. You know, you want to use warm water. Um, and the thing is like when you're when you're cleaning down there, don't use like smellings. Um, some people don't even use like any type of soap, like some people just use water down there. And that's okay, but to me I just feel like I want to wash down there either way it goes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to just put water down there because I don't do that to the rest of my body. So it's just like, you know, so, but when you wash down there, just use senses that, I mean, just use like soap that doesn't have like really a lot of sense, you know what I'm saying? So, hopefully you guys understand that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that's that. And then when you get out of the shower, make sure that it's dry down there. Don't leave it wet. Like, make sure it's dry because that's what you need to do <laughs> anyways um another thing is let's see your panties make sure they're 100 percent cotton because that's healthier you know like everything i'm about to tell you guys is just healthier for you guys and you know, healthier for down there so it doesn't you know stink because like one time like bro I be like around females and it's just like well this is when I was like you know around females because now I don't really I don't be around anybody not even my cousins but when I was around females I'm like yo you shouldn't be smelling like that like there's this one girl I had to tell her like you know I have a shower you know and then she looked at me I'm like what I'm trying to say is and I try to say it the nicest way like you know like you should get in I said, like, you know, I'm about to take a shower. You should take a shower. And, yeah. And at first, she's like, stop playing with me. I'm like, I'm not playing with you. I'm, like, being dead ass with you. Like, yo, go take a shower. And, yeah, so she ended up taking a shower. But it's like, yo, if your friend smells like P-U-S-S-Y, 
Dude, that's not okay. If they smell like pussy, bro, that's not okay. There is no reason why anybody should be smelling like that or have that smell on them. Like, yo, I know not everybody is going to smell like flowers and stuff like that. But there's no way it should be smelling like that that I can smell it from the outside. Like, no, that's not okay. My hair looks so crazy. But, yeah, that's not okay. Um, so make sure, yeah, that's not okay. So if your friend is smelling like that, you know, anybody, tell them, tell them, you know. Try to be nice about it, you know, like, like break it down, like, you know, like, like, play it off, like, you almost to take a shower. Um, go ahead, hop in the shower first, because I take too long. Because <laughs> I think I pulled that one time. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know what, I don't want to be so rude, you know, I'm always getting called rude and stuff, so I'm like, you know, I'm about to take a shower because I take too long. You're like, you always complaining how I take too long in the shower, so and every time you get in this cold water, so you might as well go ahead. Just take one before me. Like I'm telling you, like I take showers every day, no matter how tired I am, I take a shower every day. If I fell asleep without taking a shower, I'm gonna wake up around like two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. It don't matter what time it is, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna go straight to the shower. You know, I was home all day. It was just like I wasn't like I was home all day, but still, I need to take a shower. So, anyways, okay. Another thing is when you're sleeping, try to sleep without panties. You know, um, let it breathe because you know the vagina needs to breathe. <laughs> needs to breathe. So let it breathe. Um, and if you're like about to start your period, or like you, you should know when you're about to start your period, or if you know like you're close to your dates, then go ahead and just start sleeping. You know, like with a pad or whatever you're gonna do, or like your little panties or your tampon, whatever it is. Then go ahead and just start doing all that. But when you know you're not about to start, when you just got off of it or something, try to sleep as much as you can without panties. Or if you sleep with somebody else, like um, you can wear no panties with some shorts or something like let me be honest right now like right now like for a friend i barely ever have panties on like right now i have no panties on with these shorts no panties on right now i have no panties so if i'm in the house i barely ever have panties but if i must leave or something then yeah obviously i'm gonna have panties i don't leave the house without panties so yeah try to like let it breathe as much as you can or like even if you want, like, wear a long shirt and wear no pants if you don't want to. Like, you, don't, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Just try to let it breathe as much as you can and wear 100% cotton panties. Try to stay away from thongs, okay? Like, stay away from thongs all the way. Okay, another thing is... What you eat. Hmm, that's a big one. Um, different things that you eat like affect down there so be careful what you eat you know you can look up online like different stuff like you know what I'm saying but the main thing is that a lot of people like to do when um they're trying to be careful what they eat they eat a lot of yogurt because yogurt is like one of the main things that help down there or you guys can ask like your doctor or whatever it doesn't matter like good things to eat down there or what do they suggest about down there um but yeah yogurt is a big thing so you guys should actually eat a lot of yogurt i would say yogurt <laughs> A lot of yogurt because um, that's a big thing another thing is when you're using a bathroom okay I know a lot of girls that they're like oh how do you wipe down there or like you know what I'm saying they don't have questions but even a doctor would tell you because I was at the doctor's the other day not for me but for somebody else and the doctor was telling them, like you know about all different types of stuff and then I also heard the doctor say because this is what I do and I didn't really think like you know I wipe from front to back you don't ever wipe back to front because that's like gonna affect it even more you know you're wiping all the stuff that was in the back all the way to the front now so wipe back to front you know you know you know just because i got long nails i don't mean anything so yeah let me stop drinking this water but wipe oh but wipe back to front don't forget that back front back i meant wipe Front to ah! <laughs> wipe front to back. Don't ever, ever wipe back to front. It's front to back. So I don't know if I just like make that up or something. But yeah, never, ever wipe back to front. It's front to back. Front to back. 
mm, front to back because like i said it's gonna affect down there and you're bringing all the stuff that was in the back to the front when you wipe back to front so always wipe front to back front to back front to back front to back um boom <laughs> boom <laughs> Another thing is tight like pants or like tight fitting um watch out what um what type of stuff you wear like you know because that can cause like yeast affections and stuff like that um <laughs> and you don't want that so try to stay away from like really tight fitting or anything that feels uncomfortable right there let that all go honey let it go let it go let it go Cause I know like a lot of females like to wear stuff that makes their little, you know, booty look big or whatever. And like stuff like that, so it just be like mad tight or something. No, that's not it. Don't, because that's affecting down here. Um, so yeah, just be careful about like stuff that you guys wear, stuff that you guys eat, how you do everything, you know. Um, another thing is like, when you're on your period, make sure you try to wash up down there not i'm not saying like with soap because some people don't use soap like i said in the beginning but make sure that you take care of down there and make sure you change your tampon or pad whatever it is that you use for down there try to change it as often as you can especially if you bleed a lot do not let it overflow okay do not that's nasty do not do that um so yeah Definitely with the whole period thing. You know, some people change it four to six hours. Some people change it like every two hours. Some people change it every hour. Who knows? Depending how how much you bleed. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, be like really careful with that. Um, make sure that you're not smelling like it from the outside. You guys do not smell like it from the outside. That's disgusting. You know. Um, make sure you're not putting perfume down there. Make sure you're not putting lotion down there. Like, make sure you're not doing none of that. Cause that's all like mess with the balance so you know it's okay like put lotion on your legs your arms whatever and all that i do that <laughs> um just don't put it on there i'm just stuffing that with you guys um another thing is i don't really think oh my god and i know like when people you know have sex whatever i don't really know much about it because like i said i'm still a virgin whatever so, I haven't really, so once I lose my virginity, I'm going to try to do a video. Maybe some of these things might change, you know what I'm saying? But maybe the, um, some of them might stay the same. I don't know. But when you are having sex, you should not be going around smelling like sex. Or even after you take a shower, you have to do something about that. Like, it's okay for it to, like, bro, it's okay for you guys to have smell in there. But if it's like, yo, like I'm telling you, like, it's like, yo go see a doctor go see somebody like to help you try to do different things to help down there because i know a lot of girls who had you know a stinky you know and that's okay because it's girls okay so just go you know go get it checked out go do something just to fix it all up and make it you know obviously it's gonna smell like a vagina it's not gonna smell like like i said like flowers and roses and vanilla and stuff like that not ever gonna, gonna smell like that um so yeah like when you guys are having sex whatever like i know like this one girl like she was on her like way to have sex but, like you better go like that yo i'm telling you, like as soon as you get to the boy's house you better go inside the bathroom and you know i rather me say something instead of you know her going to the boy's house and be like yo you stink that's not okay <laughs> so I'd rather, you know, you tell your friend that instead of the boy telling her that. Because that's probably going to be embarrassing for her. Like, I know, like, once I, you know, once I lose my virginity, you know, once I start have, having sex. Because, like, I'm really, like, all my hygiene stuff. So, I know once I get into that, I'm going to be more harder. As you guys should, you guys should be more into it. Once you guys are out there doing stuff, you guys should really be on to your hygiene. Like, really bad. Like, you guys need to be clean on there. Um, what else? Really, what else? Like I said, like on your periods, 
you guys are, no, you know, need to be a little more clean on there. I already said that. You know what? Let's let's close it out here because maybe I might do a part two if you guys want a part two or I don't know. But let's just close it out here and we're gonna go from here. So if you guys want a part two, let me know. DM me, comment down below or whatever you know. Make sure if you haven't hit that thumbs up, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you are not subscribed again, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you guys. And I appreciate everyone who was here from the beginning. And I appreciate all the new people. I just wish I appreciate everyone, okay? And I appreciate it all. Um, let me know more videos to do. Give me video ideas. <laughs> and, yeah. So, like I said, thank you again for watching. And I appreciate everyone. And... If you don't follow me on social media, such as Instagram and Snapchat, go ahead and do so. My Instagram is the same as my YouTube channel, which is Y-A-N-I-X-I-A-R-U-T-I-N-E-L. Jennings over to know. That's my Instagram. My Snapchat is, oh my, dance underscore boxing. D-A-N-C-E underscore B-O-X-I-N-G. Dance on the square box, and that's my Snapchat. So, if you don't follow me on those, go ahead and do so. They'll be also down in the description below. And oh, and one more thing before I let you guys go I just want to tell everyone how beautiful you guys are and stay clean.